Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel for Edinburgh Watch Company. My name is Jonathan and on today's video I'm going to introduce you to a cracking Rolex we've just brought in. It's the Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea. Uh, reference number for this one is 116660. So this particular watch we've got, we bought directly from its original owner. It's a 2012 watch and it comes complete with all the box and papers, the hang tags, the certificates, even the protective bezel and it's an absolutely lovely watch. So let me take you down to the watch. As you can see here, this is it here in its uh, inner protective box. And it has the outer protective box too. So we'll take that away. And this is it. So as mentioned earlier, the condition of the watch is absolutely lovely. Um, there are no nasty dents, scrapes or scratches on it at all. And it's in beautiful condition. Uh, I'm sure many of you watching the video will know lots about the deep sea already, so I won't go too much into the detail of it, except just to outline some of the, the key features of it here. So the Sea Dweller, the current one and the deep sea here, and the likewise the Submariner, they've all taken now with this ceramic bezel. So it's really good, really practical, nice to look at, and of course it's very resistant to scratching as well. This has a sort of unidirectional function here. So again, very much for its purpose of diving, or I guess any timing you want to do with that. The face itself is a very uncluttered face. Um, it has a, a date function there. Um, the hour markers here are in fact what we call the maxi dot dial. So they are brilliant for nighttime reading. Um, they have a lovely sort of blue loom to it as well. So I talked about its, its capacity for diving. Um, this goes down to 3,900 meters. So there's not much that will go much deeper than that. And I think that will do most of you guys out there looking to, to wear this. So great watch. Um, looking at the side of the case here, uh, like the other sea dwellers here, it has the helium escape valve here just for sort of reducing pressure. And as you can see there, the actual thickness of it here and the glass itself is also very, very thick. So a really, really tough, tough watch. Uh, on the side here, traditional Rolex crown. This actually winds towards into the movement here, so again, to give it a waterproof uh, seal. The bracelet, a um, little bit wider at the top here than the Submariner. It's the um, 904L grade stainless steel that they use in, in all of their sports bracelets. Um, great, great bracelet. But one of the greatest features of this watch, and what I love most, is it's got this glide lock clasp on it. And here, if you can see, I can literally just lift that there, and this allows you to very, very easily adjust the bracelet. You don't even have to take it off your wrist uh, to get it right for your size. So this, I guess, has originally been designed for divers, etc., to putting over wetsuits, etc. But it, you know what? It's really practical if you're, you know, in different countries, different temperatures. And sometimes your wrist gets a bit swollen. Um, this uh, allows it to be adjusted really easy. So that clips shut there, and you've got an extra clip over it there. On the inside of the watch here, this is actually a titanium back on it there, which is unique to the, the deep sea. Uh, and again, it's engraved there with its depth that it goes down to the 12,800 foot or 3,900 meters. So that pretty well brings us towards the, the end of the video. Um, as mentioned, this came from its original dealer. Um, today in the shops, they are 8,050 pounds. And this one we have on offer at 6,495. And I think that uh, you know, represents a really good saving. So thank you for looking today at the video. Um, please uh, come back. We'll be running regular videos of the various watches we've got coming in. Uh, we're also on Facebook. So if you'd like to have a look on Facebook, it's www.facebook.com forward slash Edinburgh Watch Company uh, or on our website, www.edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. Thanks for looking. Cheers. Bye-bye.